guys thanks for checking out the channel watching the video today we're making another bread you know i love to bake um, this is going to be a cinnamon swirl bread so it's a white bread with cinnamon and brown sugar swirled in the middle of it pretty easy to make on the baking scale for as far as bread goes it's not a real tough bread to make um, i'll have the recipe down below um, if you guys are not subscribers take a second hit that subscribe button and mean the world to us um, give us a thumbs up at the end too if y'all have any suggestions and things you want me to make Put those down below too. I'd love to have those for you. Anyway, guys, here it comes. Cinnamon swirl bread. Hope you enjoy the recipe and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, first thing we want to do is to proof our yeast. We want to prove that it's alive. So we're going to put a half a cup of warm water, 110-ish around in there. If you're to touch it, it's just slightly warm. Half a cup of milk, also warm, uh, warm to 110-ish. Two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of yeast. Okay. We want to stir this together to get the yeast dissolved and also to get that sugar dissolved. Now we're going to let this set for about five minutes or so. We want to get bubbles in the top to prove that yeast is working and the yeast is alive. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. Okay, if you can see inside, it's getting foamy. That means our yeast is live. It's eating that sugar, producing carbon dioxide, and it's growing, it's foaming. So it has been proofed, it is alive. So to this, we're gonna add another two tablespoons of sugar. That is gonna be a fourth of a cup total of sugar. Four tablespoons of butter, that's soft. We're going to put in one cup of flour. Okay. Now, we're going to put this pull our mixer out. The other day I snapped that on and it slipped and threw stuff everywhere. So I'm being extra cautious on that. That up. We want to let beat this for about 30 seconds. And you'll notice I'm using the paddle, not the hook. At this stage, it's just too wet to use the hook. So there's no point. So let's just use the paddle. So we're going to put in another cup of flour. Again, made a mess. Could have dropped it down and saved it, but why? Well. do drop this down and I'll show you see how stringy it is but it is it's incorporating that flour slowly and that's what we want to do scrape down the sides for the last time we're not going to scrape again now we're going to put in our remaining flour which is another cup good lord can I get it anywhere else so now, depending on your area, if your area is really humid or your area is very dry, you may need to adjust the flour a little bit. So let's put this in, let that mix. At this point, we want to look at the flour, look at the your dough. Is it overly damp? We're going to clean this off, by the way. If it's really wet, what it should be doing is kind of pulling away from the sides. Let's get all this off this, because we're about to switch to the hook. Yeah, I'm not fighting with that. 
Okay, so you can look at it. If, is it pulling away from the edge? It's really not. We're gonna put another about another half a cup of flour in there. That should get us where we need to go. Put our hook in. Scrape these of this off with the hook. Now, if you're making this by hand, you could certainly mix it all together with a spoon, a spatula, whatever, throw it out on the counter and knead it by hand. But we need the hook, so we're gonna use that. So turn this on, we're gonna let it knead for about 10 minutes. All right, guys. It's been about it's been about nine minutes, so we're gonna tone it off. If you can see in the bowl, it's clean, so the 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 gluten is formed. It's pulling together. It's pulling the dough off the side of the board. So we're done. We're done with this part. All right, and even this comes off clean. All right, let's pull this, push this back. All right. The way I do this is to take a can. A spray vegetable spice. Coat the bowl well. Flip the dough on itself on the side just like that. Squirt the other side. Your dough is completely greased and oiled and everything's happy. We are gonna we're gonna cover that with plastic wrap. Now, in the oven, we've boiled a pot of hot water. We've set it in the oven with the oven off. So you have a nice, warm, moist environment. We're going to let this rise for about an hour and a half, two hours. All right, our bread's almost out of the proofing. So we got a fourth of a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon in here. I'm just going to mix that together. You can use a fork or something. My uh, brown sugar has got a few clumps in it, so I want to make sure it's good and smooth. So I'm just going to rub it between my fingers like that and mix that cinnamon and sugar together. And I am using light brown sugar. I usually use dark, but this one, I don't really want it to have that strong molasses flavor. I just want the extra sweetness of the brown sugar. Perfect. There's a lump right there. Again, when you're sprinkling this on the dough, you can you can check for lumps. Also, along with that, we're going to put one egg white. We're going to crack that open. If you have trouble with egg whites too, you can always well get off there. Put it in your hand and let your hand be a sieve. And once you get the yolk out. Now we want to break up that egg white, so we're going to beat that up a little bit. That's good enough. Set that to the side. All right, guys, the dough has definitely risen. Let's take this off. Beautiful, puffy, nice. So I'm gonna stick a little bit of flour on the top and on my fingers. We're gonna poke that bread down, that dough down, just like that. And I almost forgot flour or surface. And I'm using this pastry, I don't know what you call it, pad or something like that. I have found very useful. Put a little flour on it, flour your hands. We're just gonna work that a minute. Make sure all that air is poked out of there. So we wanna roll this out to be about 20, 22 inches around this size and about eight inches wide. So long and more. Well, almost grabbed the egg whites a little bit. Against the horror.
about it. Eh, 21, let's give it a little pull on the end here. Doesn't have to be square or anything like that. And we've got it about eight inches. Okay, so let's glance at our width here. So that's about eight inches. We'll pull this out a little bit. Kind of bring this side up a little bit. Again, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna take our egg white. We're gonna brush the inside with egg white. Just like that, make sure you coat it all. Love these little silicone brushes. When I was growing up, we only had the little ones with the hair on it. They always would fall out. This you don't have to worry about. So we have got it well coated with the egg white. Now we're gonna take our cinnamon sugar. We're gonna sprinkle, we wanna leave about it an end slightly uncovered. It does have some lumps in it. No real worries. That may be a hard lump. Yep, it is. Just like that. It's kind of like making a big old cinnamon roll, except we're not putting butter down, we put egg whites down. Okay, so we're good with that. So we're gonna start at this end, and we're just gonna start rolling it up, just like, it, like, a, like an egg roll, like a cinnamon roll. And I like to roll them up, pulling a little bit, just like that, lifting and pulling. You get thinner rolls that way, or uh, layers. Just like that. Doesn't matter if you get cinnamon on the top. Let's keep going. Perfect, just like that. We're gonna bring this end up, our seam, and lap it over. All right, now I have prepared a loaf pan. So we wanna kinda of eyeball this and make sure we're close to the right size. And we wanna pick this up we put the seam side down into the left pan, just like that. Perfect. I did line it with parchment, easier to get out, easier to clean. So this is gonna go back into that warm, moist environment in the oven where we proof, the, I mean, we let the bread have its first rise. This is gonna be the second rise. I'm gonna let it rise for about another hour until it's kind of topping over the top of the pan. So back into the heat. All right, guys, this is what the bread looks like risen. Beautiful. We're gonna take about a tablespoon of butter we're gonna very gently, without deflating it, brush the top of the loaf. You have to be really careful because it will deflate. Your oven is gonna be preheated to 350 degrees. Just like this, perfect. It smells really good too. Let's we'll make sure we get these ends down here. Perfect. We're gonna put that in an oven, a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right, guys, it just came out of the oven, piping hot. We're gonna let it sit here and let it cool on this rack for about 10, 15 minutes, then take it out, put it back on the, take it out of the pan, put it back on the rack and let it cool completely. All right, guys, let's give it a cut. It's cooled, it's completely, it did drop a little in the center, but I don't think that's a problem. Let's cut a piece and see what it looks like. Ah, look at that, nice swirl, nice cinnamon swirl. Let's get a sniff. Ah, you can smell the cinnamon, you smell the yeast. Let's cut a piece to taste. 
Remember when you're cutting bread, saw it. Don't try to cut like that. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, smell. Again, yeast, cinnamon. You can actually smell that dark, that brown sugar too. Okay. Okay, now remember, I forgot to put salt in this. I put a note on there. Um, I'm so bad when I bake to leave salt out because I don't like salt. And Michael tastes it and he'll be like, this has no salt. Mm, you're right, I didn't put it in there. I did not put my salt in this, which I'm probably not gonna have a problem with it, but I know most people would like to have salt in their bread. Mmm. So good. That cinnamon's coming through. The, the dough is really soft. The bread is really soft and delicious. Very nice. You could certainly throw some raisins in there if you wanted to. I don't think it needs them. Cut a slice of that off, toast it up, brat with some butter on it. Great breakfast. So anyway, guys, that is my cinnamon swirl bread. Hope you guys like it. If the, the recipe is gonna be down below, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you try the video, if you try this recipe, let me know how it goes. And if you have any ideas for recipes, I'd love to have those too. So just send them my way. You guys have a great week out there. Be safe, but above all, be nice to each other.